Hi, Rachel. Hi, Tony. Hi, Barbara. Hi. Hi. Listen, Tony, um, we know that you were behind the scene, but actually some people might uh, wonder what you were actually doing. Could you just tell us? Um, so I work with Rachel very closely, obviously, uh, being married to her. Um, but I'm uh, a learning technologist, uh, which means I come from education. So I'm interested in using technology in education. And I'm behind the scenes really making sure that Physiopedia is working, making sure that when we build things like the quizzes that they're all working, trying to solve problems, trying to help people who are having problems accessing. And I'm doing the video editing and just every computer-related job that Rach can't do, which actually isn't that many because she can do a lot. <laughs> but he's better at them than me. So it's a, just a perfect illustration of excellent teamwork. Something like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, we are on week seven today. And, uh, yeah, people might wonder what you are both doing or that what we are doing. <laughs> Is there anything left or has everything been done for the past six weeks? Well, I think most people at the moment are they're t finishing their final assignments. So everyone's working on the final assignments and trying to get all the final tasks done, the competency tool and the evaluation form and the quiz. So we're getting lots and lots of questions about the quiz and about the final assignment. Um, so we're hoping to, we're, try we're trying to answer all those questions and allay everyone's fears about doing the final assignment, you know, which is, which is just supposed to be just a... Um, reflection on what you've learned what people have learned through the course and it's nothing difficult and there's no wrong answers so we're just lots of people are quite concerned about how difficult the final assignment is so we're just trying to make that let them know that it's just a small task and it's nothing nothing too serious um yeah and just continuing to tony's answering all the technical questions that are coming up in the forum um things like that and then we're preparing to hand out certificates after we close after the closing date at the weekend so we'll be um Getting the application form ready, people are going to have to apply for their certificate, give us all the information that we need, and we'll be giving everyone that um, uh, that website address to do that at the end of the week. Yeah, I, got, I have a little bit of work, technical work to do to implement that because it's not finished yet. Um, um, wow, it means that you, they will not get the certificates. No, they will get their certificates. It just needs to be finished off. <laughs> and then also, another thing I'm doing a lot of at the moment is dealing with people who are purchasing the book PDFs, which is obviously a very good offer, which we'll, we'll be finishing at the end of this week again. So if people are interested in purchasing the PDFs of the two textbooks that we've been, um, we've very kindly been offered by the authors and elsewhere, the publishers for the duration of the course. So I'm dealing with a lot of emails that are purchases of that, and uh, yeah, I'd encourage people to make sure that if they do want it, they have bought it by this coming Sunday, because that offer will disappear, and uh, there is no way of buying those books after that point. Yeah, I, I was one of the bad ones who just ordered the book last week, so uh, sorry for this, but um, I, I also read your email saying that... Uh, uh, of course, we can buy them for five pounds or five uh, francs, but uh, we shouldn't disseminate it uh, largely to all the country. I think we, we have to be careful. It's a special offer. Of course, we can show it to our colleagues and, and, and use them for our own courses, but it's true that we should uh, really be careful, I believe, not to just uh, give it to the whole country. Um, and that's it's worth reminding. But Rachel, um, your English is beautiful. Uh, you gave us a lot of information, very fast information for the people who don't speak English as fluently as you do. Um, what is like the main question, the, the question people ask you and you could answer now uh, directly? Like the question. About the final assignment. About the final assignment, because we are on week seven. It's all about final assignments. We have one, two, three, four more days to go. So I guess uh, I guess people are rushing in to, to do the final assi assignment. What is the question? So the main, I think the main question that I'm getting at the moment is that uh, the word count isn't long enough in the final assignment. And I think, um, you know, we're not going to extend the word count. We've kept it quite short because for two reasons, really. One is that uh, we want people to summarize their learning and to be successful about their answers we don't want we don't really need to know everything every single detail about what people have been doing with their clients and I think it's a key skill that we need
need to be able to do as healthcare professionals to summarise how we manage a patient. And, and you need to be able to summarise that in, in an intervention into 250 words because that's the sort of thing you do at an interdisciplinary team meeting. So we're, um, so we're encouraging you to be succinct um, um, because I think it's a key skill that we need to have. Um, and then the other reason that we're keeping them quite short is because we have to read them all um, <laughs> and check that they're all okay. Um, and if they were all 5,000 words, we wouldn't be able to do it for you. So, you know, we think the final assignment is a really important reflective piece for people to do um, at the end of the course. And we know it's hard, but um, we're just, um, yeah, just trying to get people to be succinct and uh, keep them short for us. No, no, you are right, it's a key, and, and sometimes physiotherapists are uh, doing a lot of things, very good things, but have the problem of making the, uh, the intervention visible and explaining shortly, briefly yeah. what they're doing, and I think uh, this, is, this is really key, you are right. Yeah. I'm recognizing the physiotherapist behind the physiotherap physiopedia director, and um, Tony, what is for you the main question, or what was the main problem or the main focus? Uh, there have been a variety of technical issues I've been helping people with. <laughs> like the technical issue. <laughs> well, at the moment, I think it's people talking to me. I focused on passing the final quiz, and there are some technical issues with people accessing the final quiz, and then also people not getting emails when they when they pass the final quiz. So basically, the final quiz will work on most modern computers and browsers. So I'm recommending to people to use an up-to-date computer with a browser like Google Chrome, and the quiz will not send you an email when you pass it, so don't sit there and expect there to be one. I've added a note to the final quiz page to point this out to people, but people still ask that question, so don't worry, your score is recorded on our system <laughs> if you pass the quiz. So don't worry about that and, and don't expect an email. Mm -hmm. and, and then I think the other thing I'd like to say about, again, going back to the assignments is I think I remember being a student and you think I must get the, I want to pass and, and so to get the most marks I feel like I have to write more and more and more to get make sure I get marks. That's not what we're looking for. You, you can pass this assignment by being quite brief and to the point. It's not a matter of being incredibly detailed. Mm, yeah. But um, could you tell us more or less how many people have completed the the, the, the different assignments? I mean, we know that more or less 7,000 people were interested in the course, have looked at the course probably, like 3,000 have uh, been very active. Um, how, how, what, what do you think, where, where do we stand and uh, what can we expect more or less? How many people can we expect to finish the three tasks they were supposed to do? I, have, I had a look yesterday at the quizzes and we've had 1,500 people a one and a half thousand attempts at the quiz. Some some people are doing the quiz more than once. In fact, a lot of people are doing the quiz more than once. So Which that, is okay. That's fine, absolutely. Yeah. It's interesting to watch some people pass the quiz and still do it another two times <laughs> because they want to get full marks, it seems. Which is fine. We, it's not necessary, but it's obviously it's fine. And then I think yesterday when we looked at the assignments we'd had just over 300 assignments uh, submitted at this point. I think there'll probably be quite a few more this morning. That was yesterday, mm -hmm. um, so I haven't actually looked this morning. So mm -hmm. we are hopeful, I think, of approaching a thousand assignments by the yeah. end of the week. Yeah, I hope. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, this is true. We, we, we got also some uh, questions and comments uh, from ICRC team because it's a new learning process, a new uh, adult learning process, and it's not about getting 100. It's about what you, which skills you get and how do you think about the, the, the problems. And, and really, I would like to emphasize it. we are not at school. You have to present us something, and uh, we don't mind if you, if you have only 80 or, the, uh, I mean, or over 100 or whatever but it's it's really that what we enjoy and what we appreciate is the thinking behind and all the the other skills you get by just looking at all these website internet sites and and trying to organize your knowledge and um, 
and uh, all the information which you which you gathered and and it's true that for many people it's a new experience but i think uh, that's uh, how learning and tony you can confirm uh, like uh, continuous uh, professor cpd is is all about it's not about somebody telling you the truth uh, which is going to last for for like one or two or five years and then uh, um, knowledge uh, develops so yeah i think it's important yeah i think the, the course this type of course is really good for people to take responsibility for their own learning so you you're not you shouldn't learn what people tell you to learn you should try and understand what you want to learn and yeah. then pick the things and then pick the readings and things that will help you fill your knowledge gaps i think people should take responsibility for their own learning yeah. um, and and use whatever means they can to do that it doesn't have you don't need people to tell you you, you can learn a lot on your own yeah. Um, especially through a course like this, which directs you at so many different resources. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think uh, the other thing is obviously we have the Facebook group discussion. I think that's a very important resource that people should try to use because you, we have a group of, of people interested in amputee rehabilitation internationally that have been brought together for the first time. So you can ask questions and you can just learn from reading other people's responses to questions. Mm. And also yeah. answering other people's questions is extremely valuable, both for your own understanding and also other people's understanding. So, I mean, that Facebook group won't, won't be around forever because we can't continue to moderate it forever. We're going, to, we're going to leave it open and see how it goes after the course. Um, but I would encourage people to make the most of this unique opportunity to reach out to that community. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, I have two more questions. Uh, today you saw that we are changing. I'm asking the question and you answer it. <laughs> See, I'm less stressed doing so uh, because I could prepare the questions. <laughs> two questions. What was like the best part of this six weeks experience for you and the, the part of the elements which caused the most stress? <laughs> Maybe first Rachel and then Tony. <laughs> I, I think um... one answer for each. The best part of the course is seeing everyone in the discussion forum and seeing all the people that come together. It's amazing to see so many people in there all talking about amputee rehabilitation. Um, it's just amazing to see people from all over the world and see that discussion take place. It happens nowhere else in the world, this kind of discussion with this many people on just one topic. This, there's many healthcare professionals and so many physiotherapists, plus the other um, healthcare professionals that have joined us on this course it's just so amazing to see so again I, you know that's the best part of the course for me um, the most stressful part <laughs> um, I don't know I mean it's it's quite hard to keep energy levels going for six weeks and I'm sure the participants feel the same way you know it's intense it's an intense course and it's an intense six weeks and, and I know the participants have been finding it all quite a lot of work but we found it quite a lot of work behind the scenes as well, keeping it all together <laughs> and keeping it all running. So just that sort of thing is probably yeah. the most stressful. Yeah, there are still people who seem to believe that you have a whole team, like the, the people uh, <laughs> uh, working in the office next to uh, the, the room we are seeing on the picture. But actually, no, just to remember the two of, uh, of you are doing... Uh, the whole uh, the whole workload and uh, it's really amazing and Tony what is for you the best part and what was the most stressful part I think now that we're seeing some of the feedback in the course evaluation form I'm finding it really interesting and also very rewarding to read how people have found the course so useful and so valuable and mm -hmm. until that you actually see that written down by somebody it's hard to know when you're sat in this little office here yeah. in front of a computer screen whether all these efforts are really benefiting people so you know when people actually write down just a few sentences about what it, what it's meant to them their practice and their, their patients that's that makes us feel extremely good and it motivates us motivates mm -hmm. us to want to do more of this in the future so you know please do take the time to write us uh, feedback in those evaluation forms because it does help us uh, continue to do this Mm -hmm. And then most stressful, I, I actually imagine that my most stressful week is going to be next week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because actually, actually, it's not going to end. Huh? I mean, there's a future. Physio Physiopedia will not disappear, even the, if the computer crash. So what's the future going to look like for on your side? For Physiopedia or just for the next few weeks? 
<laughs> physiopedia, because physiopedia are hosted the course. I mean, without physiopedia, ICLC would have continued to do a course for like 20 people every year, and then small courses in all the contexts we are we are working it. But definitely on ICLC side, uh, it brought us to another level because we could uh, reach more people, different level, and also yeah, bring the people together. But for physiopedia, what's the future? Well, we re we really like we enjoy doing running these courses and delivering these courses. We'd love to do more. Um, so we're always looking for for ideas and people to contribute towards these courses. So we want to run more courses. We obviously we have the knowledge resource, uh, the main physiopedia site that is always there that always needs updating and reviewing. Um, so we encourage everyone to get involved in that to help us keep that resource, that huge open online textbook free and up to date for the profession you know we don't do it ourselves we rely on the community to do that it's just like wikipedia um, so encouraging everyone to get involved and keeping that up to date that's always going to be there um, yeah and just looking at delivering more educational opportunities as much as we can so um, and looking at ways of doing that 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 don't require too much funding because we're not a huge organization there's just a couple of us in the office um and you know we need people's help to keep it all going and to help us make it happen so you're talking for example one source of funding would be the membership yeah and so yeah and so you know we have a member area and if people are keen to help physiopedia in any way then joining the member area is something that they can do and there are lots of great resources in there there are some full textbooks, there are lots of book chapters from Elsevier, there are quizzes, more quizzes, more courses, we're going to be running some more live courses in there from September. Um, so yeah, if, you, if you're willing to, if you're interested in helping Physiopedia at all, then become one of our members and that would be a massive help. Okay. Good. I mean, I just confess that I feel a little bit sad and a little bit, wow, it's going to end, etc. But I think we have also to end the conversation and there will be a future with Physiopedia and more courses, more information sharing, that's for sure. But um, I have to go actually to another meeting, another presentation. So thank you, Rachel, and thank you, Tony. Uh, I'm really touched by the energy and by the commitment you have uh, for physiotherapy, but also especially for the clients, beneficiary, however you, we call them, the patients, because finally our aim is to serve them the best we can and it's not about who gets a certificate, who gets not a certificate, who has 80 over 100, etc. It's really about the, the quality of physiotherapy, of rehabilitation we are giving and so um, enjoy your day. Well, thank, thank you. you and just and thank you also to the ICRC for giving this opportunity to run this course. It's been a fabulous partnership. Yeah, it's going to... There might be a future, huh? Yeah, I definitely. Hope so. I hope so. <laughs> okay. Enjoy your day. Yeah. Thank bye. you. Bye. 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 bye.